Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ETS2 Season 2. <laughs> We're driving with an Iveco today. Don't hate me. And uh, it looks like by the look of the interior accessories here, seems like the last time this was driven was back in December. So maybe not a lot of takers, but we can't be choosers. And I'm sure this will be a great truck, reliable truck, I hope. So we'll make our way today towards Switzerland from Milan to Bern. It's going to be a very scenic route with the, the border there as well. So that would be a pretty interesting journey for us. 362 kilometers anyway. Let's get started. I do have a truck sound mod. SCS. TSRM Truck Sounds Rework Mega Pack by RJ Productions has been updated to version 5.0. So I got the package that includes all of the truck sounds. So hopefully, we are not in any risk of getting crappy sounds anymore. A couple of improvements since version 4. We'll see how we like it. So far, so good. I do like the the climbing, the revving of the engine. Doesn't feel monotonous. And when I let go of the gas, that's the biggest thing I hate about default sounds. Now it just starts to dial down bit by bit and doesn't just cut off. So how have you guys been? How was your weekend? You guys managed to see that video from SES where they featured Iberia with the new lighting update. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about it versus this one we're seeing right now? Man, natural lux. I will miss this mod. How beautiful that is, my goodness. We have to take a photo soon. Hopefully there's a bridge coming up so we can take a nice photo. We will see. I also have DB traffic creation, DB creation mod for traffic still enabled. I'm still observing if it's something I would want to have long term, but so far it's been good. Been very busy on the roads busy in a good way so it feels really like a real road and not something that's uh, uh, pandemic era yeah I guess the roads will be a bit more vacated these during these times but we want to simulate it to the time when it was really filled with roads with cars like this ah, that looks good uh, some disappearing traffic in there though okay that one is good huh. strange did I see that as well or was that just me well I'm not sure but I'm sure you guys will let me know all right turning off here even the engine brake does not sound bad nice work RJ Let's make sure we don't overspeed anywhere So yes, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the the feature the gameplay video that SCS released as always everything is work in progress But I really liked Iberia the the, the place where they featured Iberia and the lighting as well was very nice to the eyes very relaxing much better than the default than the old one for sure will it be the end of graphics mods we will see i i personally don't think so because there will always be different tastes some people will like it more some people will uh, like it less some people will have different preferences 
and that opens the doors for graphics mods to come in whether it's paid whether it's free that will be our thumbnail shot i think this one my favorite junction i don't know i guess there should be something that like this should have a name oh what's happening traffic is getting weirded out stopping in the middle of the road ah because of that uh, that merging lane i think quite strange look at this guy stopping it's like they're scared these guys might suddenly pull out oh that that horn wasn't bad is that from rj as well or from sound fixes mod actually not sure but I like that sound. Definitely different than the usual ones I hear. So either sound fixes had an update or this is part of RJ Productions pack. I'm thinking it's the latter. 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah, why not drive an Iveco in Italy, right? It's a perfect place to drive one. So far, that's looking great. Here we go again with the people stopping. I think, I'm not sure if this is a side effect of DB creation or if this is really just a default AI behavior. But I didn't remember the, the car stopping in the middle lane. I remember the cars on the, uh, the merging lane getting stopped for a long time. But I didn't remember the ones in the middle lane stopping or slowing down. So maybe this is like a compromise. So that the ones on the merging lane don't get stuck forever. The ones on the middle lane was slowing down more than usual. That might be a compromise as well. I'll have to work around that. We'll see. <clears throat> this is looking very nice, huh? Thank you Pro Mods, thank you Project Next Gen, thank you all the mods we have. So I, I remember I've been getting some suggestions when we were starting our series to start a series in default like vanilla. And I, I certainly see the appeal there, making it as pure as possible but to be honest I don't think I can do that. I like going back to vanilla from time to time, but long term, I would always go back to a modded profile. There's just so much you can do with mods, and despite the double-edged nature of it, and what I mean by that is it can make your profile much more beautiful, but can also crash your game. It can corrupt it, so some side effects can be there, so it's a very tricky thing to handle. Even though there is that risk, I think it's more than worth the risk to take. Man, love the look of that. Houses in those hills. Very nice. Another stop sign here. That's okay. Yeah, the sounds are not bad, huh? Not too shabby. And although the texturing of this dashboard is not of the highest quality, it's a bit dated. You can see edges on the uh, like polygons on the edges there, not smooth curves. And the texture is kind of old. But welcome to Switzerland, guys. Schweiss. Schweiss? <clears throat> yeah, so even though the textures are a bit old on this truck, because we can we don't really see the entire thing, we don't only see this small part. And we can focus on the outside it's not that bad and with the lighting it kind of hides the imperfections of the texture so that's great you can live with that i do like this though yeah imagine with have not having mods all our quick jobs would be perfectly clean looking no configuration trucks no christmas lights <laughs> No GPS on the windshield, things like that. I wouldn't want that. <clears throat> so yeah, 
I will definitely be sticking to my modded profile. Vanilla is good to come back to from time to time to reassess what has changed, what has updated and that's something I do most often when for example when, when 1.40 releases I will definitely be checking it out in a vanilla profile. I'll probably even remove my NVIDIA profile inspector tweaks just to see how the default graphics looks like if the anti-aliasing has been changed because we've been getting some reports that anti-aliasing seems to have improved already so when 1.40 hits I'll be definitely checking it out maybe who knows maybe we won't need NVIDIA profile inspector anymore by then I love the density of cars here looks very real doesn't it although it makes it a bit more scary with these trucks slowing us down on our lane overall my goodness I'm loving the view and the realism even the grass on the road <laughs> file a bug <clears throat> ah, that's okay looking good there all right let's keep it going but yes, I will be checking out 1.40 in pure vanilla without NVIDIA Profile Inspector tweaks. If we're lucky, we won't need that anymore. I mean, NVIDIA Profile Inspector NPI is great. That's what I'm using right now. That's why you're seeing minimal jagged edges. That's why the anti-aliasing is very nice. So in my opinion, it's much better than default at the moment, but it's still at weak. So every time you update your graphics driver, every time you change your uh, graphics settings, you have to make sure that it's still there, it's still active. In every update of the game, you have to check if it's still working. So it's, it's a workaround, a very effective workaround, but still a workaround at the core of it. Slow down here. trigger our engine brake actually we have retarder we can do that as well yeah that can work I'm using my new stream deck here for additional buttons so it's much easier to reach and I have like I don't need to remember the actual hotkey like press B for wipers or something like that I can just hit the button on my stream deck put the wipers up on or off or the retarder up or down stuff like that helps a little bit and it's easy to reach just next to my mouse still getting the hang of it though for those of you who are using a stream deck or a button box what other things do you have programmed in there because right now my button box is filling up pretty empty for the truck sim. I have uh, an Elgato Stream Deck XL. It has like 32 buttons, 31. If we're saying if it's in the folder. Right now I only have like 11 buttons set out of 31. So 20 more to go. <laughs> Lots more we can configure. Very nice look love this view oh I remember the days when was it when we went to Switzerland guys I've been telling lots of stories about it back then slow down a bit here Where we're going right now to burn, we actually went there and went to, I think it was the zoo, I think we had the zoo there, quite nice, biked around the place, we found this, this I think it's a thing nowadays, this like bo rentable bike, ooh train, I remember that from Transport Fever. This guy let us pass, thank you, kind of, thank you. Give him a thank you right there. 
So yeah, they had these uh, rentable bikes where you download an app, you pay for it online, and then you unlock the bike using QR code. It's a thing these days, right? I guess it's going to be more and more prevalent as uh, the technology and as the, the adaptation comes up. But we were able to bike around a bit. It's nice. Although quite scary. Because number one, I'm not really that used to riding a bike. I'm a bit of a beginner level. I like barely can handle staying balanced. And number two, we were not we were not familiar with the place, but we still managed nice uh, touring around on our own pace, enjoying the I think it was autumn when we were there, enjoying the autumn leaves, nice yellowish orangish leaves. Don't often get over an hour parts. <clears throat> oh, I wish I could travel again. Feels so long since the last time, huh? I'm sure some of you guys are feeling the same but thankfully we have truck sim we have flight sim we can travel virtually in the meantime enjoy it as much as we can this is a huge tunnel huh looks like it's downhill as well auto retarder triggering didn't even notice it was going downhill i thought we were climbing up and up and up Quite tricky sometimes. Oop, sorry. Very good. Oh, I like that. The sound of the trucks as they pass you by. And because there are so many of them, you are it's impossible to miss. Out of the tunnel and then inside the tunnel again. Didn't recall this area being so tunnelous. <laughs> Is that a term? Probably not. Oh my goodness. Oh, I still haven't done a flight here in Switzerland. I remember I told myself when I got flights in 2020 I would recreate my travels in real life and we could explore them virtually and see them from above. That might be a good episode for a sky park. Flying over the mountains of Switzerland. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I can already imagine. I'll have a look at one point. <clears throat> Looks like lots of bird activity in this area though. Quite scary flying a plane. You know, I never realized that before. Like, I didn't realize when I wasn't into aviation yet, when I haven't been doing any flight sim yet. Because I'm very new to flight simming. I think it's only been, what, two? Two years, three years since I tried flight sims and I got into it. And before then, I absolutely had no idea about any of the aviation mechanics. I mean, I, I, I flew in planes, I mean, as, as a passenger. But they didn't really pay it any mind. Like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but no, nothing, none of the technicalities and the details. And then as I got exposed to flight sim and aviation in general, I learned so many things. It's a, it's a whole new world, isn't it? It's an amazing thing. And that's why until now, I'm still, I still have flight sim in my channel. It's become a staple. So much so that I'm willing to sacrifice all other types of games to, so that I can focus on flight simming and truck simming. At least for now. But yeah, as I got exposed to it, it was interesting to see like how deadly birds can be. Imagine million dollar planes, right? Hundreds, uh, I don't know how much uh, an airliner costs. Tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, of euros. How those magnificent pieces of engineering can be brought down and can be damaged severely by birds 
small birds like, and they call them bird strikes it's like how can that be but then again yes if they get into the engine if they get sucked into the engine then yes it can be a recipe for disaster of course there are mitigations in place but at the end of the day you can imagine like a single bird making the huge plane have to land ahead of where it's supposed to go and that just feels scary and uh, amazing at the same time but yeah with, with uh, getting exposed to more aviation stuff you start learning about these things and it's less scary than before like if, for example if you're a nervous flyer one of the advice that is normally given is if you're a nervous flyer if you're scared of flying it's mostly because you're scared of the unknown for the most part it's scary when you don't know what's happening when you don't understand things so when you start learning about it things start making sense and things start becoming like oh it's not as scary oh there are safeguards in place so even if this happens this will happen this can be done and for example in that bird strike instance it's not as if the plane just goes down you know worst case the plane becomes a glider but gliding it can still reach hundreds of kilometers to land somewhere safe and the pilots are perfectly trained for that so lots of mitigations in place if this fails there's a backup system if the backup fails sometimes there's even a backup to the backup in worst case there's like manual ways of uh, mitigating the damage so, so many different things to the, the systems are built upon redundancies so multiple systems doing the same thing so there's always a backup very well thought of it's just that when unfortunate things happen they always get highlighted do I have to stay on the left? I think I do interlock and that's where we went in real life burn okay that's where we're going uh, I think we have to go straight still though I hope I don't get lost man this junction looks great doesn't it I don't recall driving through here before this is for sure I'm almost sure this is pro mods don't recall driving through this area maybe the last time I drove through here I didn't have pro mods on the, the signage the complexity of the junctions whoa it's just that the AI is sometimes very weird stopping in the middle of the road strange <clears throat> fine 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 there we are Maybe we'll get to see the zoo from here. Come on. Let's line up on this lane. So we'll be turning left on the next junction. And this place looks so nice. Kind of is similar to how I remember it, but not exactly. I think there is that huge bridge though, that's true. Although back when we were driving through here, the huge bridge was under development, so it was closed for vehicles, but you can pedestrians can go on it. I think that's that bridge. If that's that bridge, then the train station should be on this side, I think on the right. If this is the bridge I'm imagining. It does seem like it, it's huge. And on the opposite side there is the zoo and all the other buildings. Might be. Yeah, I remember we walked around there right below the bridge. There's like a, a trail that you can hike. Enjoying the scenery a bit. It's very nice. It 
see if I can remember any of the sights from this angle. So yeah, DB creation mod, the traffic mod that we're using, it has AI modifications based on the description. I don't know the details about that though, but I am noticing some differences in the AI. I didn't know that was a... Was there a traffic light? Oh crap, there is. Just passed it. Oh, that sucks. So in our profile here, we're not doing any loans. So we'll be saving up for our first truck without any loan so we'll need every penny so you have to be really mindful of the traffic rules here so yeah this part doesn't look anything like burn although that part with the bridge kind of uh, looks familiar but yeah i think over here supposedly it's full of houses and buildings as well if i remember correctly not like this but yeah, with a limited scale, I doubt that can be really made uh, something that is realistic without overhauling the entire city. So great job considering that. The limitations. By the way, did you guys hear the very subtle sounds of the gear shifting and the other truck sounds that are very, very subtle? Very nicely done. That's from TSRM. Truck Sounds Rework Mega Pack by J RJ Productions still. So in addition to the engine sounds, also the truck sounds have been changed. I'm not sure if also the switches. Like that or if that's from sound fixes. But for sure the engine, the, the this one. The shifting. comes with the mod. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that guy. <clears throat> there you go. I think in reality, so a while ago we got that violation for the red light, right? But I think the penalty was minimal. In reality, I think that's one of the biggest penalties that you can get. At least in Singapore, when I looked at the traffic laws and the penalties that you have to pay or the yeah the what you what you get depending on the violation from what i remember beating a red light is one of the heaviest penalties because um i guess it has lots of implications it can amount to something that is harmless but it can also cause so many other accidents and loss of lives if you beat the traffic light, beat the red light. <clears throat> so there are so many dangers associated with that. Can I use my mirror for it? Yeah, the, the real FOV mirror. Very nice. This is a mod guys by the way. If you want to try it, that's always in the mods list. By the way, thanks for helping me out in the previous episode. Mods list link in the video description. I saw a lot of people posting that. Thank you. Hopefully that got their message through for the others who are new. Because the mods list can be quite hard to spot sometimes. There we go. Let's just even it out. Like so. Alright, perfect. Looking good there. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Not too bad. I'm sure they can unload that. They'll find a way. Although with uh, milk, I think this is 23 tons of milk. Not sure how they would siphon that off, but that's their problem. <laughs> 6992 euros. That's not too bad. Oh, that almost a full level there. Nice. We now have 19k. I still don't have an idea which truck I'm going with. Well, I, I have a hope. I hope to be trying the uh, Scania 143M from Muhammad, the new one. We'll see though. It's not yet ready, so we'll have to see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one. I'll record one more after this one. Thanks and have a nice day. Clumsy trucking. Bye-bye.